Thanks for coming back to my channel, 16-Bit Fingerprint. This video is gonna be how to refurbish an NES, reclean the pins and set it all back up so everything starts first try. A lot of the methods in this video I got from Rean Bean's channel, you might wanna check them out, uh, the great Rean Bean on YouTube. Also, I'm doing an LED mod on this NES. So let's go to the workbench and get started. So I picked up this Nintendo it actually came with the box. I got it at a Sabres. I paid $87 for it. It came with the original box. Like I said, it's in decent shape, but I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna change the red LED to a blue. I'm gonna refurbish the pins. So you're gonna see how you can do all that kind of stuff. And here we go. Now the first step to take it apart is you flip it over and take off the first six screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the bottom comes right off. Okay. Now to get this metal shroud off, you're gonna to to take off nine more. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and another one right down there, nine. All right, now I took all the screws out. Now you're just gonna pull the shroud off. And underneath, there's gonna be six more to take off. One, two, three, four, five, and six and the only difference is these ones on the front are bigger than the rest at this point after you take out all those screws you can pull this whole thing right out and just put it right over here now the led is going to be right in here and that's what we need to get out so we need to take off these two screws all right i took the two screws out now you just got to kind of lift and pull pops right out if you look you're gonna have to unsolder these two posts and pull the led out so i'll show you how to do that right now okay so make sure your soldering iron is nice and hot tips clean flip this over and usually what i like to do is kind of hold onto these as I hit it with the heat I'm kind of pulling through the bottom just go back and forth kind of twist go to one side and see where we're at. Yep, almost there. Can pull. Let's see where we're at now. And it's coming out. Boom, one side. Get that one clear. It's a lot harder trying to keep it on camera. And boom, popped right out. Now if you look, all the LED really does, it just sits inside of this little carrier. So there's the old LED, and it just sits right inside. So now we're gonna pick out the new LED and go from there. Okay, so this is the LED I picked for this console. It's gonna be the five millimeter and it's blue. So I know one leg is longer than the other. One means positive, one means negative. I always forget which one's which, but I just remember this by the long leg goes towards the inside. So it's gonna be going in like this. So first just line up the holes. Give it a little bit of pressure and then just touch it with the soldering iron. It'll go right through. Go back and forth. So there you go. Okay, so now that it's in there, now what we have to do is bend it to get it to go into the carrier again. So it's not just floating in there. So bend it back a little. Usually some tweezers will help this part.
there we go we push it in there now we're going to go back to the bottom just going to make sure these connections are good add a little bit of solder zoom in for it a little bit more Okay, those should be good. See if I gotta clean them up a little. Yeah, they're connected, so. Alright. Yep, they look good. Now I'm gonna snip the ends so that they don't have that overhang. And then we're done. Like I said, just take some wire snips and cut them down pretty well. There we go. New LEDs. Now we just, in reverse order, put the Nintendo back together. I'll show you step by step. And then we'll see what it's like when it's plugged in. Okay, so since we still have to refurbish the pin connector, I'm actually just going to test it out now. So you can test it at this point just to make sure that it works. So we're gonna plug in the power. There we go, and it should be blue. There we go, bright blue. This helps just uh, to make your console stand out compared to the others. After the refurbishing, and the games work first try every time, you can usually get some pretty good money for a Nintendo console, especially if it's clean and it actually works well. Okay, the next step on refurbishing Nintendo is just you gotta pull this off. You just literally slide it forward. And then this is the pin connector. When everybody says you need a new 72 pin connector, it's one of these. Usually the original ones are actually really good. So all that you gotta do is pop this off, just push it right to the back. It should come right off. Boom. Now we're gonna take this upstairs. We're going to put it on a pot on the stove and boil it in some water. Some people don't do this. Some people do it. I've heard pros and cons, but I've done it. It works for me. Usually I hit it with a little bit of sandpaper inside here as well. 400 grit usually does the trick. It's not super coarse, but it'll, uh, it'll just polish the pins up enough to where it will make better contact and you won't have issues playing games. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna come back here and show you how to realign the pins. So here's the 72 pin connector for the NES. Put it in a pot, and we're gonna let it boil. Usually I just let it go, give it 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Some people say longer, some people say shorter. I'll just set it on the stove and forget about it for a little while and come back to it. Okay, so now we have our freshly boiled 72 pin connector. Now we do next. Some sandpaper, fold it in half. This is 400 grit. You just put it in the pins, quick in and out. It's just to remove any corrosion that's left. Shouldn't be too much. Now with the pins, to straighten them out, what I use is I just took a safety pin and I bent the end there. You can use another tool. You could use, like, I've seen people use the metal picks, like dentist tools almost. But I had this laying around, and figure out what works best for you. I figure this works for me. Now, it's hard to see, but if you slide it in there, these are the pins. And just one by one, you got to get them up underneath and then lift it up. And then do it to every single one. Try to keep them aligned. Try to keep them the same height because those are what reads the games, and if they're having a bad connection, it obviously won't play the game. So it's tedious, but when you're done, it'll work a hundred times better. So now I'm all done. They're all picked up. They look pretty even, so now what we do is slide it back on, reverse the steps, and put it all back together. So see how far it's gonna go when we get that done. All right, so slid it on. This little plastic thing goes on top. We're gonna put it down, and then all the screws go back. So I'm gonna 
quickly get that done and show you the finished product. All right, so here we are. It's all put back together. Love to use this game to try it out. Super Mario Bros. 3. Push it in, push it down, and first try. You can even, you know, kind of move it around and it still... Perfect. One-handed. All right, so it works with the blue LED. Looks good, more or less clean. So, gonna be selling it and uh, you'll see what I get for it. So thanks for coming and watching my latest tutorial. I like doing these and you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.